Good morning guys, the third day from Greece, it's currently 8 a.m. almost. We woke up at 7 with Gwen and I was planning to get some breakfast and like this. But if you want to eat early in Greece, forget about that because most of the stores are opening at 9 a.m. Not only the stores, like all the kind of services and the life around the Greece. Like you will not see people or cars or buses in the Greece like before 9 a.m. And the life in the Greece starts at 9 a.m. Like when I think about it, that could be the reason why people here look so happy. They are always in a good mood, ready to listen to you or help you with something if you ask them. Because they have just enough sleep. They will wake up in a good mood, but in the Czech Republic people getting up at 5, 4 a.m. going to work they don't like most of the time. <laughs> That's why us people from Czech Republic look most of the time being angry and not in the mood. That's my point after three days spending in Greece. In the previous video you could see guys we were visiting a couple of beaches and exploring the sea and swimming so that was the second day of ours in Greece and today we are trying to do something different than going down and enjoying the sea like this we will be trying to going up climbing like this and trying to reach the highest points here in the island Corfu of Greece trying to find there some restaurants or any interesting things to do join us on this adventure I hope it will be great and we will see what's going to happen. Good morning! This time we are heading to Galley Beach. But uh, since we haven't eaten our breakfast yet for now, Kuba is still searching for some restaurants available nearby. We will eat first before arriving to Gyali as they said that this beach is kind of thrilling for people. The way to get there is really difficult so there could be more hiking, more climbing so this time we need energy for us to be able to arrive in Gyali Beach. We've just stopped next to the road to get some breakfast. Gwendy just brought the bread. So we will just eat together and then we will continue on our way to the near beach as Gwen was mentioning. We just finished our breakfast. I really love this kind of bakery right next to the road and now we will go all and continue on our way. So we just arrived to the dead end. Here is the road sign stop. We were trying to go a little bit by this way with the scooter, but then it was very slippery, very steep. So we decided to go back, leave the scooter here and we will continue walking there we don't want to get hurt yeah. or destroy motorbike and it still says it's eight minutes walk yeah eight minutes eight minutes We were scared to go here by motorbike on this road and now we can find a car here. So someone is brave enough to go here with a car and here is the view down there. We need to get down there somehow. The road is becoming worse and worse and we are asking my, ourselves. There you can see a bug with no owner and then there's another sleeper <laughs> and right here there is a sleeper yeah. also without the owner <laughs> maybe you know what's the technique to arrive right there for you yeah sliding <laughs> 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 
and here is the sleeper with no owner I wonder if the owner disappeared somewhere or fell off Oh baby, are you okay? I should not use the phone this this hike is really not for sleepers you really need to get proper shoes tight which holds your ankle and here we are and we are alone here here are the ropes for climbing down we have to be careful not to get hurt or fell off, fell down. But the views are amazing. You are surrounded by the mountains, by the cliffs, and crystal clear blue water. Let's explore everything. And here is the hardest part. Careful, please. It's very difficult to get here, but it's worth it. Look at that. And you can have the privacy that you want because no one is here. That was always my dream. And I was always questioning how come those YouTubers and influencers are able to get the spots like this, the beaches without the people. If it's luck or if it's skill. Like today we went here early and I guess that's that point. We came early so no people here yet. Gwen just found a little cave she can hide from the sun. And it's very cold, the sun is very nice. Look at that. It's all stones. Small stones. Do you want to explore underwater with me? Let's do it. So here it is guys, we did not really expect we can find a beach like that going through the Google Maps trying to just search for anything and Gwen finally found this amazing beach I want to bring this to the Philippines <laughs> To the Philippines? Yeah You don't have stones in the Philippines? We have so many But to our memory <laughs> This is going to be our memory. This is actually the most beautiful beach I've ever been in my life. Yeah. All of you guys, if you have a chance to visit Corfu, don't forget to visit Giala Beach. And <coughs> there are two ways actually. As you could see, you can get here by the boat or you can just travel as us by scooter, leave the scooter up there and then <laughs> endure that half of the dead <laughs> with the ropes but it's really not that hard but make sure you are careful just one slip and you are falling 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 down 
also it's a pretty nice snorkeling and free diving here not really like sea plants those algae not even many fishes but the underwater is really nice i wanted to actually jump from there but i'm not allowed okay it's very deep it's very tall maybe. it's very tall i'm not allowed i was allowed to jump from this one little so what I'm, what I am more amazed about Greece beaches, that there is no um, entrance fee. It's actually free and like open to all people. Um, you don't need to pay for anything. You can just go there and anytime you want. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm more amazed with um, Greece beaches. It's just that the most beautiful beach I've ever been in my life. I've never been in the um, most am amazing beaches in the Philippines but <laughs> I arrived here in Greece and it's really amazing like look how clear the water it's like crystal clear I, as I was saying that it's really like uh, no people here very peaceful after just 10 minutes the first boats with people arrived but still we were lucky we were the first ones here today and I hope there will be not like hundreds of people on this beach if it will we will go somewhere else but for now we will still enjoy it we will still enjoy it yeah. full of stones and even you are in the water, it's still stones. Mostly are like yesterday it was in Porto Timoni, the beach was um, sandy. But right now it's, look, it's marble. And it's really amazing. How I wish I can bring these stones to the Philippines, but I can't. <laughs> but it's really nice. Look. That's the reason as well why this area is like crystal clear water. It's because of the, um, it's not sandy, it's uh, just stones. So we just managed the whole way back to the scooter. Like going uphill, it's always easier than going downhill. Uh, it was still like hard, but better. And now our plan is to find some mountain restaurant with the mountain view for the whole area around so see you in that mountain view somewhere when already changed her dress we are both sweaty and we will go more people are already coming to that beach we were lucky we came there be between the first ones and so many people who went there we've met going already back to our bike we're wearing sleepers and they really turned around because it was really impossible to walk that road just with a sleeper. It's always better with the shoes. Well, we were lucky we brought our shoes. Going home, we passed by this Bilia Vista restaurant. I'm a little bit nervous and hungry at the same time because earlier we almost had an accident with Cuba because he went down like it's like a zigzag area and then it's going down and if it's your zigzag area and you're going down you really cannot see if there are other cars going like going with you and then <laughs> he drives just very fast i think it was 60 kilometers per hour 20. 20 but still it's it's really like harsh yeah we went to the opposite direction and the other cars are going to the other opposite directions we almost had an accident because he did not went down slowly now it's lunch time this is a very nice restaurant guys we'll show you the area hello good afternoon as you could see the Gwen picked the restaurant in the mountain view and here we are already Gwen was that much hungry that she did not even wait it for me to 
have a shot for the ravioli with mozzarella and spinach mm -hmm. you order and for me it's spaghetti carbonara let's see how it will taste and for you guys if you are eating something good enjoy your meals as well enjoy your meal my friend and during that time you are enjoying or waiting for your dinner there is every five minutes a plane landing right in front of your eyes we are already back home with Gwen and we received a surprise I came to our doors to our apartment put the keys inside but the doors were unlocked so what I did my very intense me i immediately started scolding gwen like oh my god you did not lock the door but then i opened the door and we stayed shocked because the room was cleaned like the cleaning lady was there uh, maybe she forgot to lock the door or i'm not sure how it works here <laughs> so i was harsh to gwen my apology to her <laughs> but right now we are both done taking a bath and cleaning our bodies from the salty water Gwen is sleeping right now I went to the city to explore a little I did a very Greek thing it's currently very hot weather but what I did I bought a very hot pita gyros <laughs> so that's really a Greek thing so I will just sit here next to the sea and enjoy the gyros of Greeks like this guys is really incredible eating gyros sitting next to the sea listening to the waves enjoying life do you actually need more? I guess I have more than everything I was saying guys that I have more than everything but there is still just one little thing I was still missing and because of I am a Czech that's beer so cheers to you guys ah, now everything is completed <laughs> here we are after our today adventure it was pretty amazing and what we decided we actually rented the motorbike just for bless you <laughs> Sorry. two more two days but it's really amazing to go all around the island so we decided to rent it for one more day so you can expect one more video from our scooter tour yeah. and that's all for today's video so thank yeah. you guys for watching <laughs> if you enjoy these Greece videos of ours expect two more videos mm -hmm. if you don't want to miss any of those videos hit the ring and subscribe button and if you like our content you can always comment and like our videos you can ask us anything have a nice day take care and see you next time see you next time